How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. It would seem that my slimes have gotten a little bit uppity because I haven't fed them in a hot minute. I did decide to sleep until morning between this episode and the last, so a lot of time has passed in-game since the last episode, despite me only hitting the stop record button about two minutes ago. Uh, and it does seem like my slimes are making a little bit of a break for the... Uh, the water lettuce, which has fortunately actually grown. So we can go ahead and start today the way I would like to start today, which is with a whole bunch of money. What a what a good way to start any day, to be quite honest. Just a whole bunch of money? I'm here for it. Uh, I do need to grab these guys, though, and here's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Because they keep trying to escape, I'm going to pick up all of them. So every single one of them. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put 10 water lettuce into this corral and uh you guys are trying to escape as well aren't you let me give you guys some carrots to get you to chill just a little bit and maybe some uh some q berries as well did you just eat i don't think you did eat through that that's fine let's get you guys in here as well you can all enjoy some breakfast and you guys can go in here and hopefully enjoy some food i'm, I'm hoping that they're gonna they're gonna eat and they're gonna chill and that this is gonna be a good start to the day because it should be a bunch of plort and a bunch of money and as long as they're not trying to escape like this guy might be i'd really rather he wasn't but it looks like he's considering it get down from there there we go all right they seem happy although this guy <laughs> this guy's a little bit miserable get back in there wait where'd he go is he there i think he's still there i think we're okay these guys don't seem to be trying to escape anymore so let's go ahead and hoover up all of the plorts i'm 100 percent gonna get some of the uh the slimes here as well but that's probably okay I just want absolutely everything, and uh, then we can... There we go. So that's all of the plort, I think. Wait, are you still hungry? Are you? You are? Oh. Okay, apparently some slime... What are you doing? Don't eat that... Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's that's fair enough. All right, well. <laughs> it's not really... It's not really what I was expecting there, but uh, sure. Uh, we do seem to be missing a cotton slime. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew one of them would get away from me. Uh, let's put these guys back in the corral. And let's go and start picking up some uh, some pink plort right there. And I think I need to get a roof on this so they'll stop trying to escape. But for now, I want to grab all of this pink plort. We can uh, head over and sell everything. And maybe we can afford to start today with not just a bunch of money, but also maybe an upgrade for... Uh, for some of these corrals. Let's put you guys back in here since I don't need you. And uh, we'll head over here and see what's going on. What kind of money are we looking at today? Only 15. Oh, that's a drop of 11 new bucks. That's a little bit rough. But okay, it's still a decent chunk of change. And with these guys, we're above 600 new bucks. So no complaints from me. We do have two more uh, plort just laying around here. So we'll grab those and put these guys back in there. We'll go sell these, and I guess we'll look at upgrading maybe one of our gardens. Because towards the end of the last episode, I did go ahead and I did plant some Q-berries, which I don't know, I don't really know who likes uh, Q-berries. I'll be quite honest with you. One of these buttons is, uh, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, carrots, well, I'm looking for this. Favored by Phosphor Slimes. So, if we wanted to, we could get some Phosphor Slimes. We would... However, have to get the solar shield to protect them. But I think for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself the, the air net. Because I'm a little tired of these guys trying to break out of there. So that should stop them from doing that. Although if they get hungry, they'll certainly try it again. And uh, are you grumpy? No. Are any of you grumpy? No. They're all quite happy. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's... There's an... Oh, God. There's an, there's an exclamation mark. That means it's a quest, doesn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Who are you? Machi Miles. Well, what do you know? Beatrix LeBeau. Off on another adventure. And didn't think to take her good pal, sometimes rival and forever mentor, Machi Miles? Seriously, B. Next time you go running off to dangerous, uncharted territory, could you at least give me a heads up? I'd like to be there for you in case you need me. To help collect all those valuable resources that seem to be scattered all over the island. What? You think I wasn't going to do a little recon of my own? What good are surveillance satellites if they can't snoop on stuff? Anyway, be careful out there. 
The island gives me a kind of weird vibe, so I'm going to keep poking around. Oh, and since I know you're starting from scratch out there, take this refinery link. Should make things easier for you. I'll just put it on your tab. Later, Tater. Okay, so we got another refinery link. Do I need to call Victor? I mean, there's no exclamation mark, so I'm going to assume that I don't. And I guess we should head back out there? I'm also curious about how many chickens I have right now, because it looks like, uh... It looks like a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of chickens. <laughs> that's, good lord. Good, good, <laughs> good lord. There's, um, there's a few of these, huh? That's, <laughs> that's a lot of them. All right. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go and put this, uh, this water lettuce in here and feed some of these guys. We'll get some more plort from them. And, uh, we can maybe head out there and see... I think, if I remember right, it's tabby slimes that like meat, and specifically chickens. So, if I can get myself some tabby slimes, we can get some good plort from them, and uh, hopefully it's worth a little something something. I'm going to feed you guys the cuberries as well, because it's not really close to night time, so we might as well, you know, get rid of them for now. And, uh, you know what, I'll just pick everything up, because I can. I think that's, uh, I think that's about all of it. That's, what, nine plort? That's not bad. Put you guys in here sell that plort and now we can go adventuring to see if we can't maybe find some tabby slimes and not to mention not to forget we did get a link down to here so we can go and explore that as well oh there he is we do absolutely have some tabby slimes around here do you guys like hen hens by any chance i mean you'll eat it but it's not your favorite interesting what about an elder what about an elder hen would you eat an old chicken is that is that something you would uh, you'd consider? I guess not. I guess you're not hungry. I did just feed you a whole chicken. So let's uh, let's keep exploring this way. I guess this, by the way, is uh, this part of the Rainbow Fields, and it looks like there are quite a few tabby slimes down here. So let's see if you want to. Uh, no, an elder isn't your favorite either. I do feel a little. I feel a little cruel doing that. I'm not gonna lie. Just feeding an old chicken to uh to some tabby slimes it seems a little it seems a little little mean but i guess uh i guess that's just how it be sometimes out here in the wild give this elder hen to you or one of you there you go you can eat it and i'll take the uh i'll take the plort all right don't mind if i do all right those ta those stripes that tail that wiggle 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 all right that's something i'm never <laughs> never gonna say that again uh, we got another cotton slime here as well. Okay. There's apparently a lot. Oh, there's another, there's another link thing here. Now that's interesting because that says, aha, there's the thing for it up there, which means that there's probably a Gordo somewhere blocking my way up to that, right? Yeah, there he is. There's the big fellow himself. And you'll eat anything as well. So I could just, in theory, fire some chickens at you. And you'll just eat all of them. And these might be enough to get you to pop. I've got one, I've got one left. It wasn't enough. That's fine. He's he's looking he's looking quite large. And I mean that in a complimentary sense. He is he's a he's a big fella. He's a big boy. Hmm. Alright. Well I guess I need to go find something else to feed you. Let's see if three carrots will maybe do the trick. There's one, two, and three. No, anything back here I can feed you? It's also looking like a... Also looking like a no. Okay. There is a danger sign over there, which I'm pretty sure means that there are... Wait, there's a chicken. Give me that chicken. What if I give you a chicken? No, that didn't do... Oh, we got fruit up there too. Uh, the danger sign means that there's some feral slimes around the corner that might give me some problems. So we might want to go investigate that because there can sometimes be pretty cool loot that you can find around feral slimes, or at least in the first Slime Rancher, that was sort of the case. I would imagine it's similar in uh, in this one as well, but we'll do that shortly. I think uh, right now my priority is getting this pink Gordo to pop a little bit, because I kind of want to see where this leads to. I mean, I assume it leads over here, but I want to see what over there is so let's see if another chicken is going to be enough let's see if a stony hen is going to be enough and let's see oh he, he's getting there there it is he needed two chickens and two carrots and that was that was enough to do it 
All right, give me this thing. Let's break that and see what's in it. We've got a roostro and we got some cuberries as well. How about we'll give you guys those carrots and I'm going to um, hopefully get catapulted up here, I think. Yes, yes, I absolutely am. Okay, which then gives me access to phosphor slimes. Hello. I feel like I should. I feel like I should get some phosphor slimes. I feel like I might have enough money to get myself an enclosure that's safe for phosphor slimes. So let's see. Let's activate this. Let's run up to the Bifrost. This thing is so cool. It's, it's so good looking. It's really, really interesting. It's just really cool. Look at it. Tell me that isn't the Bifrost. Because it is. It's simple as that. It is the Bifrost. I won't hear otherwise. Uh, but I want to see where this goes. Ember Valley. The ancient world stirs beneath your feet with every step. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm kind of here for it. It's, uh, that's kind of cool looking. It looks like there's a volcano in the distance, which is slightly terrifying, but I'm here for it. What I'm mostly interested in, though, is getting myself a few phosphor slimes. Because, like I said, I think we can, uh, we can probably get ourselves an enclosure for these guys that's nice and safe. So we'll go for maybe ten of them. We're going to need a an air net on the top of the enclosure, I think. But, oh, we got some tabbies here as well. But I think that'll be okay. And I think my next step, I did, I did say I wasn't going to overdo it in terms of enclosures, but I'm curious. I'm just, I'm just, wait, what are you? An angler slime. What? So pretty. Let me just get closer. Do these guys blow up? Oh my God. Wait, what are you? An angler rock largo. There's rock slimes around here. Oh, there's something dangerous down there. Oh my God. Wait, an angler pink lark. These guys look weird. They look really weird. I kind of, I'm kind of here for it. I don't feel like I should take any with me though, because I don't, I, I don't have the space in, in an enclosure for them. So I will, I'll, I'll get rid of them, and I guess we'll just keep an eye out for, uh, for some plorts, and see if we can't maybe, I don't know, get some of that at some point. But for now, let's run towards the danger, because that doesn't seem like a bad idea. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> These guys don't seem all that friendly. Uh, can I can I get on this? There we go. I don't know where this goes. Oh, it went up there. Over there. Nope. Not gonna make it. Okay. Let's just get away from the danger. <laughs> let's let's stay away from the danger, and uh, see what we got. Give me that plort. I want the angler plort because I want to see what it's worth. And then we have a little rock slime here as well. Look at them. It's so good. So good. Makes me so happy playing slime rancher again. I know it's silly, but it really does. That's, that's really pretty looking. <laughs> that's really, really pretty looking. Good Lord. It's a really nice area. I, <laughs> sorry, I'm just having a moment looking at this. Like it's, it's weird. I, I've been thinking about this a lot recently about how, you know, I've been doing, I've been doing YouTube for a long time and I've played a lot of games and it's, it's weird. It's weird. Just in, wait, what is it? Oh, <gasps> it's a batty slime. Oh, look, wait, where'd it go? What the hell? Hello, sir? <laughs> Not sure where he went, but okay. Uh, that's a bit weird. All right, fair enough. Um, yeah, I've been I've been thinking about you know how there's so many games that I've played over the years, and in a way, it's it's weird. Uh, it's it's weird having. What does this launch me to? Uh, it's it's weird having a lot of those games have sequels because it doesn't feel like all that long ago that I was playing them for the first time, the originals. There's there's a lot of games like that that I play on this channel. And it's it's weird thinking about the passage of time in, in that way. And it's even weirder thinking that, for example, uh, almost, well, nine years ago, I played Grand Theft Auto V on this channel and now Grand Theft Auto VI, I mean, hasn't been revealed, but we all, <laughs> We, you might have heard the news about that one recently, and now Slime Rancher has a sequel, and there's just so many games like this that are getting sequels, and it's making me feel old. It's making me feel old and nostalgic, and that's what I'm going through right now is a lot of nostalgia, because this is just more Slime Rancher, and I'm absolutely here for it. But I think it might be a good idea if we go ahead and return to the main island for now, because, let's be honest, there's nothing here that I 
urgently need. And I suppose we can also go and see how much the tabby plot is worth. It looks to be 23, which is pretty good. This is still 15, so we'll go ahead and sell that right about there. And this is worth 41. So I might actually want to get my hands on a few of those angler slimes. But for now, what I would like to do is I'd like to get myself a plot and I'd like it to be right about here. So we'll get a corral and we're going to go ahead and put the solar shield around this thing. And I might also put the air net on it so that they can fly out of there. And now this should be safe for phosphor slimes to live in, which means I can head over here and I can get myself all of these Q berries. And the important thing with Q berries, you might remember, you might already know, is that phosphor slimes absolutely love Q berries. So if I go and do this right here, I'm going to get a whole bunch of phosphor plorts. And I'll come back and collect that in a second because what I'm also going to do is grab a bunch of water lettuce from this garden and I can go and feed my, what do you call them, the cotton slimes and get a whole bunch of plort from those guys too. So let's just fire all of this right in there. And then when it comes to my pink slimes, they are, they're a little bit furious that I'm not feeding them. So I'm going to pick them up and uh, we should probably start growing some carrots. We, we really might want to start growing some carrots to keep the pink slimes happy. Uh, but we'd have to go get some carrots first and we'd also have to get money for another garden. So we'll hold off on that for now. What we'll do is, uh, I suppose, pop in here and get ourselves all of this uh, this phosphor plort. There should be 20 a phosphor plort, I think. Or something along those lines. Maybe only 18. Maybe one of these guys happened to uh, to eat before I picked him up. 18, though, is fine by me. We can head over. We can sell it for 19 new bucks, which is, again, a decent amount of money. It's 343. As for these guys, kind of a similar story. The first batch of Cotton Plort is going to take us from 343 new bucks all the way up to 643. And then the second batch brings us up to 733. So what we can do is we can come over here and we can get ourselves, I suppose, another garden. I'm not going to upgrade this one, but uh, we will have a garden right there. This one, I'm kind of thinking we should upgrade the soil so that we always get the full yield from this tree. And I suppose what we do now is get ourselves some carrots so that I can keep my pink slimes nicely fed. And uh, hopefully we can stop them from jumping out and trying to steal food from the cotton slimes. Because if they do manage to do that, it would be a bit of a problem. Uh, we could also use pogo fruit, but I think I'd rather use carrots, to be quite honest. It just seems like the, uh, the pink slimes, the wild pink slimes, might have uh, eaten all of the carrots that were lying around, so I might struggle to find carrots, and my only options may very well be to get my hands on uh, some pogo fruit, which I guess is fine. And so there we go. We'll just grow some pogo fruit on this particular garden and hope for the best in that regard. So now we have phosphor slimes, one of which has decided to finally eat that Q-berry. I guess the next step for the ranch is going to be getting some upgrades. I want to get the plort collectors and auto feeders for all of the corrals, which is going to mean that I need 3,000 new bucks because it's 500 per auto feeder and 500 per plort collector. And then it's, you know, one of each for the three corrals. So 3,000 new bucks. That is a lot of money. That, <laughs> that, is, a, that is a huge amount of money, uh, which might be slightly problematic. But I think what we can probably do is uh, we can probably feed some of this to the cotton slimes. And this might actually work out quite nicely for me. We might be able to afford one of those upgrades. Let's, let's find out. Let's feed you guys and see how you're doing in terms of plort. It looks like everybody has eaten up their lettuce, so we'll grab all of you and uh, see how this goes. And that is actually a really good amount of plort, so I think we might be able to do this. And I'm thinking that an auto... Actually, no, I think a plort collector 
is is what we should be going for here. So let's see how this goes. 531. I think I think a plort collector is is the way to go. So let's go and start right there with a plort collector. And there it is. There's the plort collector working. And it does have the capacity for two types of plort, which has me thinking that maybe what we should actually do is combine these guys with the phosphor slimes. Or maybe we combine these guys with the phosphor slimes. I don't know. I'm not really... Hmm. It would mean that the phosphor slimes can eat anything, but their favorite thing would still be Q-berries. Maybe we should do that. Or, I mean, we could look for something a bit more valuable. The rock slime, rock plort right now is 41. What else have we got? I a lot of this I actually don't really know what it is. I think that one. No, I don't. I don't remember what it is. I know that's golden plort. I know the golden slime is quite rare, but maybe we should. Maybe we should crossbreed some of these guys and uh, do things that way. It might work out well for us. It might work out terribly. There's really only one way to know. So, well, now that I think about it, it would free up a corral as well, and it would mean that I don't need to get my hands on 3,000 new bucks. I just need 2,000, so let's take this risk. We can get more pink slimes anytime, and we can get more uh, phosphor slimes if this happens to go badly, uh, which it might, because 10, uh, <laughs> 10, uh, what is it? 10 Largo slimes in one space might be a bad idea. Actually, how many of you are there? Let me just double check that there are, in fact, uh, 10 of you. Yeah, there are. Okay. So let's put the plort in there. Let's put, uh, let's just put all of you in there. Let's do it. Let's just go for it. Let them, uh, oh my god. <laughs> this might be a terrible idea. I need some Q-berries and I need them right now. Or I need, oh my god. <laughs> oh, there is not enough space in there for those guys. I need, uh, I need, I need the walls to be higher. How much is it? How much is that upgrade? 260. I need Plort and I need it now. Actually, I suppose what we could do is explore the southern part of the map since we never bothered to go and actually take a look at it. We just dipped our toe in there and left. So let's take a look and see what's down here and see if we can't maybe find some decent amounts of Plort and maybe some, uh, some valuable Plort as well. I, I will say... This looks really cool. <laughs> this looks like a really, really nice space. There's also a breakable thing here. Let's see what we're going to get from you. We got a chicken and we got a Q-berry. I don't really think I'm too interested in those. This place is very, very cool, though. I do like it. And I also wonder what the uh, what the types of slime that we're going to find will happen to be in here. That's something I, I'm really keen to get to the bottom of. Because the other place had the angler and the rock. And there was a bat slime as well. This one has rock slimes, which honestly, maybe we get some rock slimes. I believe these guys, what are they like? Uh, they like uh, vegetables, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they like vegetables. What's their favorite thing? They like, ooh, heartbeats. Okay, so we might need another garden. Uh, those are heartbeats right there, though. Maybe, maybe we combine the rock slimes with our... Actually, that might not be a bad idea. What if we combine the rock slimes with the cotton slimes? Combine the soft and cuddly with the agitated and spiky and see how that goes. Might not be a bad idea. For now, I'm just going to grab 10 of these guys, though, and we'll put them into the corral that was formerly occupied by the pink slimes and see how things go there. Uh, it does look like there's another one right there. Let me grab him before he eats something that I don't want him to eat. Come here, you. Don't do that. Give me, give me that slime. There we go. All right. So that works out. I've got the rock slimes. There's danger down there. There was something I wanted to look at up there, though. I'm really curious because it looked like, yeah, it looks like there's kind of a way up there. It also looks like there's a door that I could probably open, which I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, in the original Slime Rancher, there was a big old puzzle that you had to solve to, uh, to do things like that. So there might be a puzzle here that I have to solve. I'm just not too sure. What are you? A Cotton Hunter Largo. 
He's also feral, so I'm going to just throw him over there and stay away from him, because that seems kind of dangerous. And uh, I guess what I'll do is head back this way, which I think is towards the feral space. It absolutely is. So we'll head down here and see what we're dealing with. What exactly is feral down this way? I mean, nothing thus far, which is weird. Oh, hello. A pink rock Largo. He's feral. We'll leave him alone. <gasps> oh my God. We have honey slimes. Okay. Get rid of that pink plort and give me, give me these honey slimes. Get you out of here as well. What do honey slimes like? Mint mango. All right. Get rid of that plort as well. Give me the mint mango because what we can do. Oh wait. No, 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 no. Give me that mint mango. Because what we can do is grow all of this. I, I do want more honey slimes, but I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, they are quite valuable. They're, they're plorts, so if I can get five of them, which I have, if I could get ten of them, that would be amazing. That would be better. That's six. I just need a few more. I want, I want the plorts. I will be honest. I would prefer to collect their plort right now. But if I can get a little setup back at base with a bunch of honey slimes and a bunch of rock slimes, we might do really well. Oh, we've got the anglers as well. They like meat. They, those guys liking meat is actually... That has me tempted to come back here as well because, to be quite honest, it means I could finally put my chickens to use. In fact, let me have a look at slimes and see what the anglers prefer. What's their favorite thing? A sea hen. Interesting. I've never seen a sea hen before. <laughs> Not really sure where we uh, where we would get one of those, but fair enough. I imagine they're around somewhere. Can I get my hands on four more honey slimes, though? That's that's what I'm interested in right now. You know, I think based on the amount of cotton honey largos around here, the answer is going to be no. But I do see a map marker thing up there, and I uh oh. That's a problem. I am curious to see if I can get up to that and uncover this map. So oh, we've got some tars around here. Let's try and stay away from those guys. Uh, I do. Like I said, though, I want to see if I can get up there and uncover this map. It's not necessarily. No. Oh, no. I just lost everything. <laughs> no. Oh, that's terrible. I, I need to go back there and go. Oh, ugh. I need to go get all that stuff again. I'm a little annoyed with myself that I wasn't paying attention, but uh, I guess it's an opportunity to feed the slimes and see what's going on. So let's get you guys, let's get you guys fed and keep you happy. That should be enough to keep you guys fed for a while. And then we can have the plort collector pick all of that up. Uh, let's go ahead and grab all of this as well. And this will do for the... Uh, this will do for these guys who have escaped and eaten my chickens. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Get back in there. <laughs> Get back in there. Get in there. That's, that's, not, that's not how this works. Get out of, Get out of there. Get out. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you can get back in there as well. Um, <laughs> this is, this is a little bit of a disaster. I understand why they're grumpy. 100% understand why they're grumpy, but, um, no, I kind of, kind of need you guys to, um, I don't need you guys to stay in there is what I need you to do. Uh, and while that's going on, let's see if I can't, uh, maybe collect on the, uh, on the plort over here. Can I, can I activate this thing? There we go. And there's actually a really good amount of plort just waiting. There's 40 in there right now. So let's just go ahead. Oh, that's all going to have to wait in the floor. That's fine. I, I can't believe I lost all the stuff that I was collecting. This is down to 14. This isn't even worth as much as I'd want it to be, but I guess that's okay. Can I... 260 for high walls. There we go. So that gives them a bit more space. That should keep them relatively happy. And I guess now I need to get my hands on 500 new bucks so I can go ahead and hopefully afford another plort collector. And there we go. With just a little bit of work towards feeding these guys, we now have the money to afford a plort collector, which I'm going to get over an auto feeder because essentially these guys are so big that it's kind of hard to manually collect the plorts. So we can just do it this way and we can just do it this way and that should keep them relatively happy. 
Uh, we can go ahead and grab a bunch of plort from here as well, because there is a whole bunch of it just sitting around. And we can uh, hopefully sell all of that for a decent little... Uh... We have so many chickens. We have way too many chickens. I need to go and get... I think what we could do, maybe, is... Hmm. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. I want to go get those honey slimes. That's what I want. I want the honey slimes. I want to get that mint mango again. And I guess maybe we'll get some angler slimes. Because, I mean, looking at it, I think that is honey plort. And I think that is angler plort. So, I mean, grow some mint mango. We'll make some money there. And the anglers like meat. So, while we might not be able to make their favorite food, we can certainly make something that they'll like. And I guess we don't need all this pogo fruit anymore either. Huh. Well, that's going to give us a free, uh, going to give us a free lot right there. And I suppose, can I, can I get you guys, you guys actually seem quite chill, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, I think I'm going to get a sprinkler on here, or maybe, hmm, maybe we do get an auto feeder up here. I think I will. I think I'm going to get an auto feeder for these guys. And what we'll do is go ahead and put, I guess, the pogo fruit in there for now, which is fine by me. And that should keep them relatively happy. It'll feed them. It won't make a whole bunch of money because it's not their favorite thing, but it'll, it'll keep them happy. And that's all I really need to worry about. So now, now we have to go all the way back back to the south end of the map and we need to see if we can get ourselves the honey slimes and the rock slimes as well as the heartbeats and the mint mango so if i remember right i don't think i went that way i think i went this way and over this hill and far away the honey slimes should come out to play i think I think this is where it was. No, this is the... <laughs> I think this was the, the rock slimes, actually. Let me grab you guys. And let me get... Uh, that's a cotton hunter largo, if I ever saw one. Uh, let me grab as many of these guys as I can before they start turning into other types of slime. I do want to try and get 10 of them because I think that's a good number. That's something we don't want here. So let's just fire you out of here. And we'll get rid of these plort as well. So if I'm... Now, not mistaken, I think it was actually over this way that the honey slimes came out. I, I don't know where the honey slimes are. <laughs> I've got to be honest. I've completely forgotten uh, where exactly the honey slimes are. Uh, I think it actually was this way, and it might have been through the dangerous area that the honey slimes happen to live. So let's just pop through here, and let's take a little look. And uh, there's, there's a honey slime. Give me that plort. Don't mind if I do. And uh, by the looks of it, it's actually just a whole bunch of, uh, it's just a whole bunch of, uh, of these guys. <laughs> that's not really, that's not really what I'm looking for. I suppose, I suppose I could, I hear, I hear the music. That means there's a tar. There is. I suppose what I could do is just collect a bunch of honey plorts and use that. Oh, there's one. Wait, I need to get rid of something. Uh, oh, for God's sake. Well, that's frustrating. I, I guess I could, though. I could just get a bunch of honey plorts and use that as a means to, I guess, get the uh, get the honey plort in the long run, right? I can just feed it to my existing slimes, and that's a way that I can I can sort of crossbreed them, I guess. It's, uh, I guess that's why we're doing this. That's a lot. That's a lot of tar. <laughs> that's a lot of those tars, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Wait. Oh. If I can get rock plort, can I open that door? So I got some rock plort, and there's a whole bunch of those tars still. But what happens if I throw rock plort at you? Does it open? It does. Oh. Now this is very cool. What's 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 in this? Can I, can I break this? There we go. Got some chickens. Wait. It's a sea hen. That's what I want. Lovable trash, like your favorite bad movie. <laughs> okay. All right. I see how it is. I think my favorite bad movie is White Chicks. Thank you very much. But uh, sure, we can open this pod as well. What are we getting from you? A storage cell. Used at the fabricator to upgrade the tanks or the Vax tank booster. Okay. And then this. 
So I'm assuming there are a bunch of... There's a bunch of those statues that we need to give Plort to, and eventually it will all link back and sort of connect together. So that's fine. I suppose what we'll do, since it's about all we can do, is we'll take these rock slimes and we'll feed them a bunch of honey plort. And that way we can get both rock slimes and honey slimes to chill. Although I also really want mint mango, which there is right there. I'm going to have to get rid of think of this cotton plort because I want that. Uh, I want that sea hen is what I want. So give me that mint mango. Give me that mint mango and give me just all of the honey plort that's lying around and that should be fine. We have another door there as well. Okay. Oh, we've got anglers too. I did want these guys, didn't I? And they would, they would eat my chickens of which I have many. Uh, we'll come back another day. We'll, we'll come back another day for those guys because what I want to do is I want to get back to the conservatory and I want to make these, I guess, these rock slimes a new home. I also want to put the sea hen into our chicken coop because I want to see if maybe we can get a few more of these guys. I'm not really sure if we can, but I'm curious at the very least. I'm also curious to see if maybe let's have a look here. What is it you guys like? You guys like the, ah, yeah, you guys like the, the beats or the heartbeat, don't you? And then you guys like the, the mint mango. So that should be fine. We, we should manage. And then it was the anglers that like the sea hen. So what we can do is we can put the rock slimes into the corral where the pink slimes used to be. We can give them the honey plorts and we can use the corral or sorry, the garden that's currently growing the this stuff right here, the pogo fruit, we can use this to grow mint mango instead. So that should work out quite nicely. I think I will go ahead and just pull all of this off of the tree, though, because I am about to replace it. And uh, so we'll go here. We'll go across and we'll remove the crops and then mint mango. And you guys are kind of chilling, so that's fine. We'll just go over here. These guys are kind of hungry. Uh, and we'll put some rock slimes into this space. That's one that's managed to escape already. We are going to have to, um, we are going to have to upgrade this space before we feed those guys anything right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and put, I guess, the sea hen in with the, well, you know what? I'm going to grab a few of you guys and, uh, we'll now put the sea hen in here. We'll let you, uh, oh, no, 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 no. You, you get in there. There you go. You derpy looking thing. And, uh, <laughs> we'll go feed the rock slimes some, uh, some meat. And that'll keep them relatively happy. And get us a bit of plort. I think they like meat. No, they like vegetables. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Give me those chickens back. <laughs> give, me, give me those chickens back. And you guys, you guys just stay in there and go hungry, I guess. Uh, as for you, well, I mean, you guys like vegetables. Let's, let's get them fed. Oh. Oh, I can't feed them right now. Okay. Well, we might be... We might be in a bit of a pickle, unless I have some money available, which I do. And by money, I mean plorts, and by money, I, you know, I plort, I mean, you know, eventually money. Uh, we'll pull all of this out of here. We'll put these chickens back into the coop. Some of them might escape, but that's okay. Grab all of this, and let's hope that this can get me money for some high walls on that enclosure. So, sell all of you, which I think it was 260 for the high walls. I think, I think we can afford it. So let's take a look. 260. We'll do that. And well, there's no going back once I do this. There we go. This uh this might be a really bad idea. Oh, that was a really bad idea. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought that, that was a terrible idea? Uh let's give you a mint mango. And then you plort out a bunch of stuff, which is fine. I'd like the uh I'd like that plort. I am gonna have to get a plort collector on this because this is very dangerous. <laughs> It's very, very dangerous to try and do. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure that was a good idea. Although I suppose what I can do is I can feed them some pogo fruit and that'll keep them chill. The Q berries have fallen off the tree as well. So we can feed the, uh, the pink phosphor slimes, some Q berries. And we do have some water lettuce down here as well. That'll keep my cotton slimes nice and happy too. 
So everybody is going to get fed. Everybody can stop losing their minds, which is what they're doing right now. So you guys can have all of this. You guys like fruit and veg, so you can have all of this, and that'll keep you nice and happy. I'm going to put a lot of this stuff in here to keep them happy in the long term. And you guys, I think, are going to start getting a little bit rowdy. So we'll just throw a bunch of Q-berries at you, and that should keep you happy. And uh, now we can go around and just start to try and collect everything. So this is all... Wow, that's all been collected already. Not bad. This should, I think, give us enough money to uh, to do some good things here. Let's just activate you to make sure that's all collected. I'm not going to go in there to try and collect that. And then up this way, did I give them... Did I get an auto collector thing? I did. Let's activate and give me all of this. Absolutely all of this and collect again. Give me all of that as well. And give me all of this. And that should now be... That should now be a really good amount of money to get what I need. So sell all of these guys. And then we can sell all of these guys. Now we can sell all of these guys for nine. And that gives us 890 new bucks. So what we'll do is we'll get ourselves, I suppose an air net would be good, but I'm going to start with the plort collector because I can then go and get all of this. And I think that's going to be a really nice amount of money as well. So... Let's see how this goes. Let's grab all of this and uh, and sell it and see what we're looking at. We're currently 390. We're going to go up to 750 and then up to 1092. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think in terms of an auto feeder, I don't know that we need one here. We can kind of keep feeding them the way we've been feeding them. Uh, you guys have some stuff here, which I'll absolutely sell. I mean, everybody has a plort collector now, right? So I just have to keep them fed. So we have mint mango growing here, which we do want to be nice and quick. So actually, what we'll do is get the nutrient soil and get the sprinkler. And that means mint mango will grow quickly. We just need some plort to get this thing a sprinkler so it grows quickly as well. And then I think we've pretty much got ourselves a license to print new bucks, which I'm very happy about. Not going to complain at all. In fact... I think if I just collect all of this, we might be able to get that license to print new bucks a little bit quicker than I anticipated. And it turns out I was completely right. Just a little bit of waiting until morning and we can go ahead and set this guy to have the sprinkler, which means that the Q-berries are going to grow nice and quickly. We have mint mangoes that have already grown nice and quickly and we just got done feeding these guys. So we should have a bunch of cotton plorts and we do have a bunch of cotton plort waiting to be collected. We have a bunch of plort right here waiting to be collected. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an auto feeder right on here so that we can go ahead and throw all of this uh, mint mango into the feeder. And these guys can just be fed automatically, which means I can come along every now and then and just collect some plort. We can do the same thing right here. And I, like I said, I think we've kind of reached a point where... Already, we're making a decent little bit of money. Of, uh, money. I just need to, I guess, start looking at upgrading some of the uh, the things that we have around here, especially my my backpack. And I'll be honest, there is a single plot. Well, actually, uh, yeah, there is a single plot left right here. I kind of want those angler slimes. I really do. I really want those angler slimes. They they seem really cool. They seem kind of mean. But I also feel like, I mean, you know, 41 gold? I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. So I think what we can do is go ahead and leave it there for today. Oh my god, that grew so quickly. Uh, yeah, we can, we can go ahead and leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure, as always. And, as always, I'll see you next time. Buh bye bye